What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to dive again to the fascinating world of Revit 2024 for structural design. So we are going to explore one of the indispensable tools in Revit annotation, which is the spot elevation. From our last video, we have learned how to put dimension to our model, right? So this time, we are going to explore the use of spot elevation so whether you're an architect engineer or a passionate student of the BIM environment so you know that the accurate elevation data is key to creating successful designs and that's where the elevation tool in Revit comes into play so in this exercise we are going to add dimensions to the sloped roof of the structure and the footings on the entrance so the dimensions will display the height from ground level okay so let's do this so let's uh, put first a spot elevation on our roof so i'm going to select roof just double click and then let's say i want to check the elevation here the slope the elevation of my roof here so to do that, I just need to select the spot elevation. So just click that one. All right. And then after that, here on our options bar, you can see that you can control the leader line, the shoulder line, and then the relative base. You can click the drop down arrow there. Okay. So I want to uh, use current level as my relative base on my spot elevation. And then you can also specify here the display elevation. So let's say what I want is I want to show the actual elevation. So I'm going to select actual selected elevation. And then here on the properties, you can still change it. Okay, you can change the type of the spot elevation that you will be using. So you have the beam elevation, project, relative, crosshair, no symbol, target. Okay, so for this one, I'll just use the default no symbol okay so if you have time you can explore the other options here okay so i'm going to select no symbol and then let's say i want to see what's the elevation here at the center okay so as you can see straight up the bath that's now the spot elevation so i'm going to click that to place the leader okay and then i want to put the shoulder as well so i'm going to pick up uh, pick here sorry and then I'm going to pick another point here all right so that's the elevation of that particular part and then as you can see as I move my pointer it changes the elevation because this roof is a sloped roof okay so let us put again another one here so let's click that click here and then click another point so that's my spot elevation there and then I want to put one here as well. So I'm going to click this. That one and this one as well. So let's click that one. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. All right, and then let's say this one here. So let's click one, two, and then three. There you go. And then after that, you just need to select here, modify. Okay, so that's how we place spot elevation dimension to our slope roof. So the next thing that we will be doing, let's try to put spot elevation on the footings on the entrance. So I'm going to open uh, 0, 01 entry level. So let's double click that. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom into this area here. So let me just change my visual style. I'm going to make that hidden line. Okay, so let's say I want to see what's the elevation of this uh, structural column here. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select again spot elevation. The shortcut is EL. So I'm going to select that. All right, and then leader is checked, shoulder, relative base, again, current level. But for the display elevation, I'm going to change this to top and bottom elevation. Okay, so I'm going to select that one. And then I'm going to hover my pointer to that structural element. And then I'm going to pick 
there you go so as you can see there's now the spot elevation so maybe i'm going to place one here and then another point here there you go okay so i'm going to select modify here to terminate the tool and then i'm going to select the spot elevation so as you can see the display elevation here is top and bottom elevation so what i'm going to do i'm going to modify the spot elevations no symbol relative spot elevation type okay so to do that i'm going to click here edit type to open up the type properties let's say what i want is i want to put a text okay so i'm going to move the slider down and then i'm going to select here uh, text location okay so let's click that click the drop down and then you see you can make it uh, in line with leader you can select that okay and then you can also add here a text prefix like for example on my top indicator i want to put there top of footing like t o f okay so i'm going to type t t o f equals okay and then after that i'm going to select here okay there you go okay and then i'm going to modify that okay so to suit your needs there you go and then if you want you can also put another prefix here so you can click your spot elevation go to the type properties and then after that let's look for a bottom indicator okay so let's say this is my uh, text tex or any text that you would like to put there and then after that just select here okay there you go okay right so basically that's how you add your spot elevation so we don't need to make it uh, complicated it's simple okay so it's imp uh, simple to place your spot elevation all right so once again thank you for watching guys have a nice day